Henry Oshenflipper was a pioneering figure in the history of African Americans in the United States. Born into slavery in Thomasville, Georgia, on March 21, 1856, Flipper went on to become the first African American to graduate from the United States Military Academy at West Point and later served as a lieutenant in the United States Army. Despite facing significant obstacles and discrimination throughout his life, Flipper persevered and became a respected and accomplished military leader, engineer, and writer. Flipper's early life was marked by the turmoil of the Civil War and the aftermath of slavery. He was the youngest of five children born to Isabella and Festus Flipper, who were enslaved on a plantation in Thomasville. Following the end of the Civil War, Flipper attended the American Missionary Association School for Freed Slaves in Georgia, where he excelled academically. In 1877, he became the first African American to graduate from the United States Military Academy at West Point, where he studied engineering. After graduation, Flipper was assigned to the 10th Cavalry Regiment, one of the four all-black regiments that made up the famed Buffalo Soldiers. He served as a lieutenant in the Army for five years, participating in campaigns against the Apache and Comanche tribes in the Southwest. In 1881, Flipper was accused of embezzlement and conduct unbecoming an officer, and was court-martialed. Despite his protests of innocence, he was found guilty and dismissed from the Army. However, Flipper maintained his innocence and worked tirelessly to clear his name for the rest of his life. Following his dismissal from the Army, Flipper embarked on a career as a civil engineer. He worked on a number of important projects in the Southwest, including the construction of the El Paso and Southwestern Railroad. He also wrote extensively about his experiences as a soldier and engineer, publishing a number of articles and books, including his autobiography, The Colored Cadet at West Point. Flipper remained active in the civil rights movement throughout his life and was a frequent speaker on issues related to race and equality. He also continued to fight for the right to be reinstated in the Army, and in 1898, he was granted an honorable discharge by an act of Congress. In 1976, Flipper was posthumously commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Army, and in 1999, President Bill Clinton pardoned him. Henry Oshin Flipper died on May 3, 1940, in Atlanta, Georgia, at the age of 84. Despite the many obstacles he faced, Flipper's legacy as a pioneering figure in the history of African Americans in the military and in engineering continues to inspire generations of Americans.